Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Thank you for your support. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content. I went blank for a second. Uh, really quickly, there's a group I am aware of you all. <laughs> you watch my channel. You come on here to play. Um, a lot of you are afraid or uh, intimidated or something like that about me seeing into your life. You're a bunch of karmics. Um, there was something that was revealed about one of you and now you are afraid to get on my channel. So you wait till I post content and you're hoping that I'm not watching when my content goes live so you can watch the videos and then you're hoping that I won't read into you or I won't sense you. I still can. You all linger. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but you linger. One of you that was on my channel last night. I got on there to watch my video that posted, and then you all hopped off. One of you, you're being reviewed as a, a, a as worker. You sell yourself at work. I don't know why that's being revealed to me. Uh, actually, it's a couple of you feminine energies. You sell yourself at work, or you sleep with men at work, and then you record it. You blackmail them. It's a way for you to keep some type of hold on them, to trap them. These are married men. Some of them are in relationships as well. You're sleeping with them. Like, <laughs> I don't care if I'm, my content is live, if it's something that I recorded two weeks ago and I posted and then you all come on there, I can still read your vibe. I can still read your energy. There's nothing you can do to hide that. So you can hop off as quickly as you want to, but because of the fact that you came on my content, on my platform, I have you, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this read. Let's see what in the name of source is going on. I mean, like, it was just ridiculous. As soon as I got on my content, my video to watch, I had, like, 10 or 12 people just, like, literally uh, hop up, like, really afraid or something. It's, like, it's too late. Like, I knew you were on there. Okay, so we have the world out here in the reverse. There will be no closure. Someone may want to have closure with you about a situation, but this is not happening. Um, I'm not sure what this closure has to do with. Oh, awesome. Did I pick this up? In, no, it's in the upright. I was going, I thought like I picked it up in a reversal position. Yeah, someone is upset that they cannot have closure with you about a situation. Someone did a lot of confusion, mental conflict, and things like that. Someone is in the reverse as a queen of cups. Uh, Lord have, have mercy. There's a queen of cups here that is extremely pissed off. This is someone rash, emotionally imbalanced. Someone wanted to end something for someone else, but it's not happening. And she's pissed off about that. This is someone that causes a lot of mental illusions. She uses manipulation, right, to control people around her, to control the narrative. Someone has been misrepresenting themselves to other people, possibly to a masculine energy as well, to get something out of him. But this is someone that does a lot lot of mental illusion we have the uh, temperance out here yeah so there was some type of divine interference with something this woman was doing behind the scenes uh she could have been blocking someone's work interfering with some type of connection telling a whole lot of lies and things of that nature this woman is chaotic the fact that this knight of pen knight of swords is coming out here in the reverse is extremely alarming and this is someone that is imbalanced. This woman could have some type of mental illness is what I'm being told. So there's something going on with her mental. I heard low IQ. Like someone has a very low IQ. But then on top of that, she's extremely bitter, angry about something. Her life, how her life is going. It's that someone is doing some type of work they're not happy with. Like they're, they're 9 to 5. They don't like doing it. They feel trapped in it. They are in some type of lifestyle that has binded them to something toxic. They are not fulfilled in life. There's something about this woman. She's very dark. This is a very dark energy. Extremely heavy. I'm going to have to do like a cleansing bath after this read. But this woman is extremely dark bitter, insecure, easily intimidated by other women is what I just heard. Loose with the body, her mouth. This is someone reckless. 
okay? There's something this woman was doing to interfere with some type of either connection, opportunity, work, something of that nature. I have the magician under here. She was interfering with someone's work and there's divine interference that's going on. Okay, the cosmos steps, stepped in to bring balance into a situation. This woman is losing a lot. She could be losing her health, losing her job, losing money. Someone is not going to be able to recover from something that they did. And they've been doing it for a long time. And this has to do with an illusion, manipulation. This woman manipulates people around her. It's what I'm hearing. Like her energy is really dark. Like as soon as she pulled, she flipped out. Like the whole vibe just changed. This is someone that's very dark. Judgment has been caught in this situation. She was trying to block someone from, from uh, uh, um, progressing in life. Like she didn't want to see you thriving. Because she's not able to thrive in life, which is because of choices that she made. She does not want to see someone else thriving. But judgment has been called in this situation. You will be thriving. You will be the phoenix rising out of the ashes. Not will. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. This woman is something else. This is dark. Dark does not even emphasize what is wrong with this woman. This is someone that refuses to heal. She's mentally imbalanced. Like the word, the R word, we're not supposed to be using. Like the re, re, re you know, that word mentally, re, mentally R. She has that. She has that. But she hides it or something like that. Or she plays it off. It's a lot. It's really crazy, but because in a way, this is someone that knows what she's doing when she's doing all these manipulations, causing all of this chaos, blockages, and things like that. This is someone that does a lot of mind manipulation, she uses magic behind the scenes. This is someone that has like a lot of minions. She may even have people that she's controlling. She could be... It's funny because I said something about someone being an S worker or being loose with their body. And then she comes out in the reverse. And this is someone that uses her body to trap men. It's like when she sleeps with you, she's recording it. Or she's having a conversation with you. Maybe an inappropriate conversation with you and you don't know she's recording it. And she can use it against you later. And she does this to men that she knows either are married. She likes to do this with married men. She likes to take down married men, control them. This is like a power thing for her. She likes to be in power. This is not a genuine queen of cups. Obviously, she's in the reverse. So this is someone that pretends to be a queen of cups. But she has something with her wanting to control married men, trapping them. It's like, it's like, oh, if you, if you don't talk to me anymore or you don't do what I want, I'm going to tell your wife, I'm going to expose you to your wife, or I'm going to expose you to the community. She's been doing this for a long time, but there's some type of divine interference that has taken place and it is shutting her down. There's a cycle that will not be closing for this woman. She's going through a lot of chaos, endings. Okay, we have the world card out here in the reverse. Endings is what this woman is going through. And it's permanent. It's not something she can recover from. So you maybe you're part of this group that's watching me. And you thought it was fun and games at first. And now you're popping out in a re. I guess I'm supposed to read you. So we are going to do that. I guess you wanted to, wanted to read. But you are extremely broken. You need help. You need help. This is someone that gaslights. This is someone that gaslights other people. There is no emotions in her. This is someone void of human emotions. So any type of love she's showing you is pretentious. This is crazy. This is crazy. This woman was interfering with some type of connection. Two people were meant to come together, but she don't want these two people coming together. 
She does not want them having genuine love because she does not have genuine love in her life. She's never had genuine love. She does not know what it's like, what it feels like. And this is because she don't even know how to give it either. You can't have something you cannot give. You can't give something you don't have either. But this woman does a lot of gaslighting. Okay? She's pissed off because you're being seen as someone genuine, someone authentic, a dreamer, someone intuitive, someone gifted. This woman has a problem with you being gifted, whoever you are. She has a problem with you being gifted, intuitive. She does not have any spiritual gifts. So she uses manipulation behind the scenes. This is like someone that has all her ducks lined up before she interacts with you so if she wants to appear in a certain light she'll get her friends to vouch for her so that this picture can stick but the truth is being revealed about her this woman pissed off the universe she pissed off someone's ancestors and she is going through it it's what i just heard she's done i just heard the word done like she's done Finito is what I just heard. Is that a word? Is that like a? It isn't that a, a, like an Italian word? I know in French it's fini, but I don't know what it is in Italian. It could be finito. Correct me in the comment section. But this woman, I've never felt an energy like this before. You guys just saw this car flip over. This is someone that gas lights. The truth is being revealed about this woman. This is someone incapable of giving equal give and take love, relationships, connections. She's void of human emotions. This woman likes inspiration. She's not intuitive, intuitively gifted. She's not spiritually gifted. This is not someone that has any type of connection to source because this is someone dark. This is someone broken, bitter, bruised, scorned. And she gets a thrill out of taking other people down. But for you, collective, she effed around and found out. She did something she was not supposed to do, and spirit is tearing that behind up. She will not be recovering from this. This is a long battle that she's about to be going through. Like, the, like, my heart, literally when this woman popped out, my heart just went, like, heavy. This is, this is someone holding a lot of anger and animosity in. Yeah. She was trying to block something for someone, but there's a new path that's being created. She's upset that you are being seen, seen as authentic. The truth is being seen about you. This woman wants to be you. She wants to be you. She's upset because you are abundant. You're naturally gifted, talented, multifaceted. You're business oriented. And she likes all of those skills. This is someone that, you, that the only thing she can bring to the table is her skills in the bed. That's what I'm hearing. And bring toxicity. And she pretends very well. This is someone with like a PhD in manipulation. She manipulates in a way where it comes across as genuine. She will make you think that your friend is your enemy and your enemy is your friend. And you will turn against your friend. Someone is extremely conniving. This is someone rash, impulsive, aggressive. This is a feminine energy that resides in her masculine energy. But when she wants something, she knows how to put on that feminine persona to get it out of you. Okay. She may have wanted to like, to like come in your energy, but she's being stopped. She's being blocked. She cannot. This woman is like mentally gone at this point. She does not care what she's doing. She's going to keep doing it. It's what I heard. 
Uh, that was her mentality. And now it has gotten her cut up in something that she cannot get out of. Okay. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, this woman wanted to pick a fight with you. Someone wanted to pick a fight with you. And I said something about a low IQ and this card is, this picture source is coming out in a reverse. This is someone with a low IQ, retarded basically. I'm sorry to use the word, but she's retarded. This is someone that likes to fight, pick fights, argue about everything and anything. Even if what she's saying does not make sense, which half of the time what she's saying does not make sense, she still wants to fight. She likes to be in control is what I just heard. This is someone in balance and whoever either marries her, ends up with her, Lord have mercy on your soul because you don't know what you are signing up for. This is someone aggressive, someone like just an airhead, does not know nothing she's talking about. Mm. Incompetent. Incompetent. She does not know anything that she's talking about. This is someone that lies a lot. She lies. Someone may even pretend like to be friends with people. Dang. This is crazy. Like this woman's energy is a mess. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. Lord have mercy. This woman's energy is disgusting. I don't even want to be in this energy. It is so disgusting. How do you live like this? Wake up like this and just go on with your day? Every day like this? Like my heart, you guys. It's like my... <sighs> it's like my body just took over her, hers. And it's just... I, I can't do it. Yeah. She has legal issues going on. She did something she was not supposed to do. She has legal issues going on. She was invading someone's privacy. She did something she was not supposed to do. She was working with other people. She's been manipulating a whole family of people, like a group to act on her behalf, to advocate for her. She wanted some type of commitment from someone or some type of financial payout from someone or an institution. There was some type of motive. There's an opportunity that this woman wanted that is due to you, but she wants it. And she has been doing things behind the scenes to block you from receiving it. And for some of you, this can just be someone that hates to see you happy, hates to see other people happy, hates to see other people doing better than her. But when you are around her, you're not going to be able to see that. This is someone with a lot of issues, trapped in something. As I said earlier, she's trapped. She's bonded to something. Someone is having a lot of financial issues because she mismanaged her money. This woman was paying for magic behind the scenes. Paying for people to block you, interfere with your forward movement, interfere with your finances, just interfere with your life overall. And it has come back to bite her in the behind. There is no getting away from this. For some of you, this is a masculine energy that resides in his feminine energy. So he's a B-I-T-C-H. He's a little B-I-T-C-H is what I just heard. Dang. What do you have to go through in life to be this broken? Because, honey, I've gone through quite a lot in my young life. And I didn't come out this way. Like, I've lived through things most people would not be able to survive 30 minutes of. And I still come out here every day hoping for the best for everyone. For people to live their best life. Have equal opportunities at, at everything. At living a fulfilling life. Things like that. I don't have animosity in my heart for anyone because who has time for that? That would be me blocking my own blessings and my forward movement. But this woman, Lord, I have to hurry up and get up out of this energy. I've done too much healing to come reside in this kind of madness. 
This is someone that is refusing to heal. It's like literally when she flipped out, my heart like just swish. It just got heavy. And I have to keep ticking back over my body. It's I don't know how to explain it. Left out in the cold. She's lost everything. This is what she wanted for you. There's some type of rash action this woman took. And it led to her losing everything. And she will not be recovering. Is what I'm hearing. She will not be recovering. You are going to be receiving some type of commitment that's going to lead to a fresh start for you. And this is what she was trying to interfere with. This woman wanted you stuck living in poverty. Living in like. And this is what she has put herself in. There was divine interference. If this person didn't trust that God existed before, she will now. You know, we all have a different relationship with God. There are people that pretend to be Christian. The reason that's coming out is possibly because she pretends to be Christian. If there are people that pretend to be Christian and don't have one lick of connection to God. And I'm sorry to say this, but a lot of the times Christians are the only one that do not practice their religion. It says do not kill, they kill. Do not lie, they lie. Do not commit adultery, they do. They are the only ones, most of the time, that cannot practice your religion. All of this could have been avoided. You are going to be getting into a new relationship, which is what she was trying to block as well. It's that someone does not want you to be living a fulfilling life. Like they want to see you in like, unhappy, unhealthy. Someone was doing beauty spells is what I just heard. Beauty spells. Yeah, absolutely. You have a, a, a positive, a good message coming in. And she is distraught over that. Lord have mercy. This woman is losing her mind. If you are around her and you're paying attention, she, her legs are shaking. You know those people that tap their legs up and down? What is going on with her? This woman is losing it behind the scene, but trying to walk out with a mask and it's not working. People know the truth. You have good news coming in and it's going to let you know about something someone did where it led to a loss for her or him. They cannot recover. They will not be recovering. It is not accidental that this Five of Cups landed under this Queen of Cups in the reverse. She is experiencing an ending while you are having a brand new passionate beginning in life. You are living in confidence, which is what the universe wants you to do. They want you to stay in confidence, stay in positivity, positivity, okay? This mental conflict that she was trying to cause you and other people is what she's going through. So you are being told to keep your mind on positive thoughts, okay? You will get back everything the enemy stole from you. What you lost will be given back to you is what I just heard. Oh my goodness. And it's like she, the law, honey, I'm telling you, this woman is being sat down. There is no forward movement for her. Absolutely being sat down. This is someone cunning and calculative, not smart, but cunning and calculative. She thought she could outsmart the universe. Excuse me? Someone thought they were smarter than the creator of all that is and will ever be. And she got sat down in the worst way possible. Will not be recovering. Someone has mental illness. Literally. But she acts like she's normal. Wicked is what I heard. Wicked, but you have success coming your way. I'm telling you, judgment has been called. 
Judgment has been called. Someone is refusing to work with this woman. Someone is refusing to take any type of finances from her. If she was trying to pay someone to keep causing you losses and things like that, they don't want to work with her anymore. Whatever she thought she was going to be receiving because of the actions she took behind the scenes against you or whoever, she's not receiving those things. She's not receiving them. This is crazy. I didn't know people were like this hateful. Like, literally, this woman's heart is heavy as heck. Heavy. This is someone that pretends you have a you have a, a positive message coming in, good news coming in for you. Dang. Someone is going to bring something to your attention that you are not aware of. There's going to be balance brought into a situation. Someone is pissed off because you're innovative. It's what I just heard. You're, you're creative. It's that like if they destroy one thing for you, another thing comes up, you create another thing. It's that like she's pissed off because you always have new ideas. The universe is always guiding you, protecting you, watching over you providing for you someone wanted you to be put out of your home so they could have maybe possibly 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 even reached out to like a landlord to tell them to pull you out of your home not to renew your, your your lease with you things like that like people went above and beyond to block you whoever you are and i don't think you realize how protected you are by the universe but these people went above and beyond this woman is not working alone you are about to be experiencing some type of growth. It's going to be like, it does seem like it was, it was overnight, but it's not. It's that you are going from like a, a, a stillness right now to acceleration. Like it's just about to take off. And that's because this person is being removed out of your energy. While she's going through endings, you are going through growth. Okay abundance prosperity multiple streams of income your weight is over is what i just heard yeah absolutely brand new passionate beginning you are you are being advised to take that bull by the horn and move with it <laughs> There's a message you're going to receive as well, and you are being advised to take action immediately. Move immediately. Whatever you're being told to do, make sure to do that. Do not hold back. Do not hesitate. Stand firm. Show up where you're supposed to. Lord have mercy. I'm like, I'm happy to keep taking over back, taking back over my body because this woman's energy, I can't, I cannot. It's so disgusting. Yes, absolutely. Your path is clear. The truth is illuminated. People are seeing things for what it is. If this had to do with a court case, the truth is being seen. What was wrong is made, it's being made right. This has to do with your abundance as well for some of you. And it is ensured, it's protected. Someone was wanting to fight you for what belongs to you, like your birthright. It's like someone went to a practitioner, looked into your future, and they saw how abundant and prosperous you are. And they were like, nope, I need to switch places with her. She cannot have that. If I can't have it, she can't have it. And they went bizarre. And just started doing any and everything to block your forward movement. This woman has been doing this for a long time. She's done it to other people successfully. And now she's wondering why she cannot take you down. Honey, that is because you are covered by the universe. You have favor on your life. And she is burdened about that. Burden, burden, and burden. Someone is crying. She's crying at night because you are receiving an opportunity that the universe deemed fitting for you.
She's crying at night. This woman feels like her life is over. Her life would not have been over if she would have left you alone. All she had to do was leave you alone. There's been a practical decision made. There's a king of pentacles that's going to be connecting with you to get in a relationship with you, to celebrate with you, build an empire with you. Someone wants to have fulfillment with you. Absolutely wants to have fulfillment with you. All the lies, the games, the immaturity, everything is being brought to an end. All the gang stalking. Yeah. Someone wants to have fulfillment with you. They are afraid that they won't be able to because he was part of this shenanigans. This fell out in the reverse. Someone is afraid that they won't be able to celebrate with you. That this chapter of chaos, manipulation, deceit, and things like that they participated in, when they bring something to your attention, you won't be letting go or you won't forgive them. Someone overindulged in something, they betray you. This king of pentacles betray you. And he's afraid that you won't forgive him. These people celebrated something too early, prematurely. It's like they thought they had victory over you. Victory in blocking a union from coming together. Victory in blocking you from receiving some finances. But they celebrated too early. Celebrated too early. So it may be that you're not meant to be with that king of pentacles. You may be meant to be with someone else. Because this person partook in this foolery. Okay. My goodness. I'm going to take this. Yeah, you're Empress Energy. Some of mother or wife is involved in here as well. And this woman is cold. Vindictive. Someone is having some type of remorse as well for something she did for... Oh, dang, this is a foolish person. This mother figure, foolish. This is someone that pretends to be wise, but she's not. She's manipulative. She misguided either her son or someone to take a route that was not the best route for them because she was intimidated by you. She was afraid that you knew a little bit too much. This is not someone that goes within. This Empress energy, she's showing up as an Empress energy because she's someone's mother or someone's wife in this story. She does not go within. I don't, she's not even coming across as one of the nurturing kinds of mothers. This is one of like the hands of not emotionally available kinds of mothers. This is not someone to be getting advice from. This is someone that likes wisdom. Yeah, they may be older, but they don't have any type of wisdom to guide you gently in life or adequately in life. Someone is very envious to be an empress. Yeah. Dang. Honey, this woman, oh my gosh. This woman is about to be begging for money. Someone is about to be homeless and begging for money. Dang. And like, it could have all been avoided. This is like someone coming after you. You're not even doing anything to them. But they are persistently coming, consistently coming after you. And you are ignoring this person, acting like you don't see them, not paying them any mind because you know what the consequences are for these types of actions being taken up against someone of your character, your magnitude. So you don't even retaliate, you don't say nothing, you don't fight back, you just let this person fight a one-sided battle. It's like someone fighting with themselves. Dang. 
Dang. And this Empress energy was doing something behind the scenes that had to do with bribery. It says she was bribing people to correlate her story is what I just heard. So it's like if if maybe her son was interested in you, she probably came up with some type of lie and then pay other people behind the scenes to corroborate that lie. To keep him from coming towards you or to keep some masculine energy from coming towards you. This could be someone's wife, ex-wife. It does not have to be their mother. But this woman has an ending coming for her as well. What she did was unjust, is what I just heard. Yeah. They were paid to block someone's work. Now they're experiencing blockage. Someone doesn't know what to do. They don't have any more plans. They've ran out of plans, manipulations, tactics, tricks. They've ran out of tricks. So they don't know what to do now. Someone is not happy with the results of their action. It's like they put in all of this effort and it didn't lead to anything. It led to nothing. Nothing at all. I'm telling you, honey. This woman is toxic. This woman is toxic. This is someone vain. Extremely vain. It's like all, everything she planned led to her being trapped in something that she cannot get. These people are trapped in something they can't get out of. With the devil out here, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a cult-like mentality. Someone may have accepted some type of money from a, uh, an occultist. They cannot pay back. So now they're trapped in something they cannot get out of. Lord have mercy. Someone is unable to pay an occultist back their money. They collaborated with an occultist. He or she paid them money or gave them money to do something. And the plan failed. And now they, they owe that person money or they're trapped. Something like that. Something like, oh Lord, they're trapped. Dang. They are trapped. Experiencing a lot of financial setbacks. Someone is stuck pinching pennies and things like that. And this is what they wanted for you, but there's someone coming in to, to bring balance into your life. Bring fulfillment and you're being advised to take action is what I keep being told. Take action when they come into your life and bring this to your attention. Things are moving in your favor. People are experiencing karma. It's like the wheel is spinning. As it's spinning, it's bringing balance. Things are going in your favor and everything these people threw out is coming back. It's coming back. And it's nonstop. It just keeps coming. The karma, one thing after another. And they don't know how to stop it. Someone may be doing like a cleansing bath. Someone is going to like a spiritualist. But the spiritualist is not able to help them. There's a practitioner that does not want to work with these people anymore. They don't want to work with these people or this is a new practitioner they went to and this person does not want to work with them. I said practitioner and you just saw the glance of the magician. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, queen of pentacles, my darling. Things are moving in your favor. I said something about practitioner and then the high priestess shows up. You're sealing onto calmer waters. 
Absolutely, my darling. So you are intuitive. You're a high priestess yourself. So you intuitively know what's going on with these people. Why? Why? Did they not know that you were a high priestess? They didn't know you were a high priestess. You're sailing onto calmer waters. Someone in here may be trying to run, go on the run or something. There's nowhere you can go where you're not going to serve your karma. I hope you know that. Sister Mayat knows everyone's address, including the nomads. So there's nowhere you can go to hide from karma. Someone wants to run. Someone wants to go on the move. It's like someone is in a hurry. They're not making plans for nothing. They're just in a hurry to leave, wanting to either go overseas, go to another state. I just heard Texas, Nevada, Mississippi, New York. Someone wants to go to New York. Mm. Someone's on the run. Oh, that's what they're about to be doing. Someone is on the run. Run, 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 run. Psycho killer is... Lord have mercy. Someone is on the run, but they cannot go anywhere. Because we're in a globe. And the universe sees you. <laughs> Someone in here went to a high priestess as well to get the truth about a situation. Now that they know the truth, they want to have some type of connection with you. I don't know if you're going to want to have a connection with this person because they partook in the shenanigans. They want to come in and make you a promising offer. Grow with you. Heal things with you. Nurture you. Hopefully you nurture them back is what they're hoping for as well. But someone wants to have some type of love connection with you. Okay? It's like they went to a high priestess. And the high priestess told them the absolute truth. That this person you are, you've been going up against is genuine. This is someone that you can have genuine love with. A genuine connection with. And now this person has had some type of change of heart. So they may want to come in and give to you. That's up to you if you want to accept that or not. But the truth has been revealed to someone. I don't know why my car just shuffled so stiff like that. It was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this person was in collaboration with these people. I kid you not. I just said that. They were part of this shenanigans. They were collaborating with these people. But now they want to meet with you to sail on to Karma Waters. Some Someone is going through some type of interrogation or this is what they are avoiding. It's like they know sooner or later this is coming. So they may be trying to flee to avoid that, but it's not going to happen. Whereas someone is wanting to come in to give you a letter, give you something to bring balance into a situation. It says someone wants to give you proof of what has been going on. They say, hey, I know you're not there to vouch for yourself to uh, make things right. This is what these people have been doing behind your back. Okay? Something is no longer hidden. It is no longer hidden. It's like someone thought... They have defeated you, is what I just heard. Conquer you. Whatever message you're going to be receiving is going to bring abundance in your life, lead to you having abundance. There's something that either belongs to you that people have been blocking. Someone has been asked a lot of questions. It's what I keep hearing. Someone is being asked a lot of questions about a situation that has to do with finances, has to do with a privileged lady. 
This is my privileged lady card, the nine of pentacles. My privileged lady, privileged gentleman. This is their card for me. Someone is being asked a lot of questions about you, about a matter, some lie that they told, some type of forgery, signature forgery, blockage. There's something someone is being asked a lot of questions about or a group of people are being asked a lot of questions about. And someone wants to flee, but you cannot flee anywhere. You're going to be found out. If you don't serve your karma here, you're going to serve it where you're going. And it may be worse where you are going. I just heard someone is losing a really high paying job. Someone is losing their job or they already lost it. And this is because of something they did in regards to you. Someone is about to know exactly what it feels like to go through what they put you through. Because this is someone that was above the world is how they felt. Okay. You are focused on your pentacles. Do you see this progress here? You went from the seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles. And you have the nine of pentacles out here as well. Fulfillment. And we have to, yeah, honey, you're good. You are good. Someone sees you as focused. Someone sees you as someone that is worth to be committed to. It is absolutely ridiculous. Who moms, dads, grandpas? Yeah, I wish for fill me, honey. I cannot. You're about to be living humbly, but with all of the resources.